I love my ghoulies. In my first video, I will be showing you how I made these mermaid or dragon ears. The first few things you are going to need are thin wire. I'm using 27 gauge, wire cutters, and pliers to help you bend the wire. To start off, cut roughly a little over a foot of wire. Then fold that length of wire in half. Twist the wire around itself. Next, make an ear cuff shape. I'm using this styrofoam head to help me measure it out, but you can do this on your own head. Once you have your ear cuff or C shape, twist any extra wire back around the C shape to reinforce it. Be sure to cut off any sharp wire sticking out. You don't want it poking you when you wear your ears later. Next, you're going to need tape to wrap the wire in, not only to help hold the wire in shape, but to cover any sharp edges and help bulk up the shape. the cutting and twisting about a foot of wire this is going to be your first spine Wrap one end of your twisted wire tightly around the top part of your C-shape just after the first curve. Measure out how long you want this first spine to be and wrap the excess wire back around the spine. Wrap tape around the base of the spine to reinforce it and hold it in place. Repeat those steps for however many spines you want. I went with three in decreasing size.
finally wrapped all the wire and tape. Now to add the webbing in between the spines. Put tape connecting all of the spines to each other, sandwiching the spines between two layers of tape. Next, trace out the spines you Next, trace out the shapes you want the webbing in between the spines to be before cutting it out. Repeat everything you just did to make your second ear. Once you have your second ear, it's time to break out the liquid latex. Start by covering every side and angle of your ears. While that dries, tear up some tissue paper or toilet paper into little pieces. Now stick those down onto your ear using liquid latex. Build up the layers till you are happy with how it looks. Then let that dry fully before powdering everything. Latex is tacky when dry and powdering it gets rid of the tackiness. Now onto the best part, coloring. Using colors of your choice, paint the ears. I'm going with a light purple to a dark purple at the edges with a flare of sparkly green at the very, very edge. You can use almost anything to color your ears. Eyeshadow, lipstick, cream colors, grease colors, acrylic paint, Get creative. I'm using cream and grease colors and setting them in place with eyeshadows and a matching color. If you are using makeup products, I recommend using a setting spray to seal the color. I'm using a, the green marble setting spray. You could also use a clear spray paint. And then you're done and you all have mermaid or dragon ears depending on what you're using them for thank you guys so much for watching yours cruelly artist asylum